The best directors don't leave anything to chance. They use cinematic techniques to draw your eyes to portions of the frame and then place important information there so the viewer sees exactly what the director wants them to see. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important lessons a filmmaker can learn and exemplify it with one of the greatest cinematic achievements of all time, Schindler's List. Director Steven Spielberg uses an advanced cinematic technique to direct the eyes of the viewer. The eye trace. Eye trace refers to when a director intentionally draws the viewer's eyes to a portion of the frame like this. Or this. Hey, you know you my man, right? A director is largely in charge of directing the viewer's eyes. How they go about this is what gives the director their unique style. There are three main methods used to direct the eyes of the viewer. Motion, position, and color. With motion, it can be movement of the camera, performers, or even a little tiny graphic that moves across the screen. You should actually limber up as well, especially if we are going down that hill. It is very important. Position refers to placing imagery in areas of the frame where the viewer's eyes currently live. The chances your viewer will look somewhere else are slim to none. And color can be used to evoke specific emotions in your viewer. We're going to use Studio Binder's production software to analyze Spielberg's use of eye trace in Schindler's List. Before we jump into our shot list example, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon for video updates. Keep your eye on the prize. Let's jump in. Our first method for eye trace is motion. Let's take a look. In this scene, the waiter is in motion so our eyes follow him as he walks through the room. Spielberg's shot size is close enough to the waiter to signal his importance in the scene. His depth of field is shallow enough to keep our attention from straying, and his camera movement pairs with the motion of his actor. The motion in this scene guides our eyes, right where Spielberg wants them to be. Our second method is positioning. The waiter draws the eyes to a specific spot and we reveal Oscar Schindler. When planning your shot list, consider how you can make the most of your shots by merging them into a single setup. This will not only give you creative, highly effective visuals, but also help you make the most out of your time on set. Your storyboard will allow you to outline the vectors of your frame so that you know exactly where your viewer will have their eyes and when. Which brings us to our last technique. We've gone over how motion and position can guide the viewer's eyes. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, what about color? And how does it apply to a black and white film? Did you forget about this scene? The little girl in the red coat can be spotted from Chinda's high vantage point, and we watch with a singular focus as the chaos unfolds around her. of eye trace is that it's a cinematic strategy rather than a rule. Just ask yourself what the focus of this shot should be and leverage the three methods. Let's recap. While using the eye trace method to guide the eyes of the viewer, remember motion, including camera movement, props and actors, positioning, where you place subjects in the established view, and color, where you use color to draw the viewer's eyes. Use these three methods to direct the audience's eyes to precisely where you want. 
and don't be afraid to combine these methods for the ultimate effect. If you plan to use iTrace, you will want to use shot lists and storyboards to capture your ideas. Check the description to sign up for Studio Binder. It's free to get started. Subscribe to our channel below, click the bell icon for notifications, and follow us on our Instagram page. What are your favorite examples of iTrace? How did the director use these methods to guide the viewer's eyes? Tell us in the comments. Take a lesson from Schindler's List. Real cinematic power doesn't come from technocranes and self-indulgent visuals. It's when we have every reason to throw in all the bells and whistles, and we don't. That's real power. Power is when we have every justification to kill, and we don't. <laughs>